Hi guys and welcome back to Neon Black. Um, today I wanted to get on here and talk to you about why I gave up social media for six months. Um, it was back in 2016. <clears throat> I don't know why I'm acting like it's so far away. But it was in 2016, like around the summertime, um, I decided to give up social media. I didn't know how long I was going to be gone for, but it ended up being um, around like five, six months. And I needed that break. I needed to just to detach myself away from everything and away from all the external just I need to detach myself from society and so I gave up um, Instagram and snapchat and I never really get on Facebook a lot I'm trying to get on it more just to promote you know my brand but um, but at the time I really didn't use Facebook and I started using Twitter but just more so as a news um, a place where I could get um, my news and a place that I could express myself but not um, visually so I gave up Instagram and Snapchat because I was in a place in my life where I was very down on myself and I wasn't I had a really low self-esteem I had just graduated um, grad school and I couldn't find a job and so I kept comparing myself to everybody else who was around you know everyone I had gone to grad school with or undergrad with and just had, who I had gone to school with and I just kept comparing my life and where I was at to where they were and I always felt like I was coming up short and that on top of there were a lot of you know um, we were seeing a lot of violence you know whether it would be um, you know, police, police, <laughs> police brutality, or you know, even police officers getting shot. It was at a point where all I saw was just violence, and it was a, another, another name in the paper. Another person had passed away, and social media shows you it in real life action. Like you can see someone die, and the first, the first and last. Well, no, it wasn't even the last time. Like the first time I saw someone get shot and just die that 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 messes with your psyche like you can't unsee that and so once and I didn't want to get desensitized to that I like it hurt me so much and I couldn't I realized I couldn't see that so on top of being you know depressed and feeling less than seeing you know people die and comparing myself I just realized I had to take a break from social media and so I deleted Instagram and Snapchat off of my phone and um, I just didn't go on it and I was able to focus on me I was able to just take all of that those hours that were spent just scrolling down my timeline I was able to focus it on me and what makes me happy and what makes me a better me and fill it with positivity I was able to you know I started watching YouTube and watching people who were inspiring me to be the best version of myself and not necessarily um, just getting half the story on Instagram and just seeing people living a great life but not knowing how they got there or not knowing um, how I could even obtain something like that and so I had to take a break and I think that was one of the best things I could have done for myself because it just allowed me to free up my space and free up my mind and to then fill it with what I wanted to learn and I was able to learn a lot during that period about myself and it helped me a lot and so I suggest if you're going through a time where you feel like you're comparing yourself to other people and you feel like everyone is living this immaculate life and they're living this great life and you want to live that life instead of comparing yourself to them and seeing how okay well I'm falling short or they have this and they have that and you know their relationship goals and whatever the case is detach yourself from all of that and let go of all of that however long you need and whether if it's just a week, a month, a year, however long you need, detach yourself from that and just focus on you. And if you want to go back and look, like that's okay, but don't go back to social media until you're ready. Don't, don't, don't put a time limit on how long it takes for you to heal yourself. Because it took me five, six months to be okay, to be comfortable enough in myself to go back, to come back into social media and and be who I am and be okay with who I am but there was a time in my life where I wasn't okay with who I was and so I was insecure and I was had a very low self-esteem and I wasn't able to 
um, to grow because I was comparing myself a lot. So if you feel like you're in that stage of your life, just let go of social media and give yourself a break until you can, um, you know, focus on you and then come back brand new. Um, so that's all I have today about just detoxing from social media and giving social media a break and why I gave social media a break. And I think it is, you know, I'm kind of due for another break because I find myself slipping into those little patterns where comparing and just trying to, you know, I, I find myself needing to just take another step back and be like, it's not that deep. You're doing fine. Everything is okay. We're all on a different journey and we're all, there's room for everybody to be great. So I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys my story about social media and why I took a break and give you some tips if that's what you need. Um, don't feel, don't feel. <laughs> I'm going to get better at this, I swear. Um, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.